Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm cruising on the Danube on a paddle steamer called the Schumbrunn. She was built in 1912 and named after the palace in Vienna. I'm going to take you for a little tour of this ship. We're going to go all around it and just see this fantastic vessel in operation. This is one of the many areas where you can sit and enjoy being on board. There's one of the staircases, there's two staircases. We'll go downstairs soon. It's going to be a little bit windy out here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to run around this bit fairly quickly. We're going to go out. We're heading upstream on the Danube. We're now heading towards the front of the vessel. So it's going to get windy here. I'm just going to run through to the very front, get to here. And this is now the front of the vessel. So this is looking upstream on the Danube. The main mast here with all these wonderful flags on, when we left Linz, is where we started, they had to lower the mast down to get us under the bridges. But once we were clear of the bridges, the mast was raised. So we're going to continue. We're probably about five or six miles now upstream of Linz. We're going to go and have a look around the rest of the ship. So you can see a funnel. Let's go around here and into the big gust of wind. We're going down here now. What we'll do, we'll go to the back of the ship, we'll go downstairs, we'll have a walk around. So I think the bridge is, we're just passing here. There's a, a funnel there. Yes, the bridge up there. You can see the, the captain will be up there steering her down the Danube. It's quite warm here because we're going to have a better look. Down there is the engine room. You may just be able to see the cylinders of the paddle seat. It's quite an amazing sight, but we're, we're going to go and have a better look at that later on. So you've got some indoor accommodation there. You've got another big indoor room here. This ship can carry about 900 people. There's only about 50 odd on it today. One of railway touring companies chartered this ship for a four hour cruise on the Danube. Very, very nice on board this. Um, this is an Austrian holiday. We're doing various railways and this afternoon we're doing this cruise. We're coming to here. Now this is, um, it doesn't appear to be a bar on here, but this is where hopefully later on I'll come and get a beer. So you can see there's some beer on tap. They also do coffee. So that is the bar and you can sit in these areas here if you wish to sit there and enjoy a beer, a wine, a coffee, whatever you would like to. Now we go out from here, this takes us out towards the back of the boat to the stern. So if you look out out the windows down there, you can see down the Danube. So at some point, I'm not sure when, but we're gonna turn around, um, probably when I finish this video, we're gonna head back down towards Linz. It really is a beautiful stretch of the Danube. I've seen the Danube before in various other cities, mainly Budapest, been to Budapest quite a few times. I've never actually been on a boat of any kind on the Danube. We're going to go down this set of stairs now. You can see me in the mirror. So if we'll go down the stairs and have a look, see what there is to see down here. There's a little souvenir shop there, so you can buy souvenirs on the ship. Give you an idea of what she looks like. This is her here. It's a cardboard model. So let's let you have a look at that. And then um, you can do various trips on her, so there's a leaflet of a trip there. That's a full day cruise from 8.30 in the morning till 6 o'clock in the evening. I think it'd be really quite nice spending time on here. I, I could easily spend a day on here. Various other, you get little kitchen rooms. Um, there's a, another bar there. And um, this is another quite large room. As I said, it, this boat, can accommodate 500 people. I'm glad there's not 500 people on board today because I think if there was, making this video would be a bit harder. There's a, a plan there. I, I believe downstairs, um, there, which we probably can't go to, but I think downstairs there's there's cabins. So that would you know be quite nice to have gone down to the cabins. Anyway, we're gonna walk along here. We've got toilets along this section of the boat. 
down there. See the engine again. So that's, that's really fascinating. Let's have another look here. So the cylinders are down there pushing forward. Driving the whole thing. You see the end of, of the um, piston rods. We'll continue down here. It's quite noisy. I think the boiler room must be down here. It's getting quite warm. Oh yeah, it's looking good. That's the boiler room down there. You can see the oil fire boilers. It'd be great to go down and have a look. All, all the boilers down there. There's a, a plan, I think, explaining how the boiler works. You know, obviously, steam burns oil to drive to make the steam to propel it along. Here's all the, um, the knots. Which um, my granddad used to know lots of knots. He was in the navy. In fact, he did. He used to fire steamships. He used to fire mine sweepers in the navy. So he would have been down there. That's a bit similar to what my granddad would have been. He said he would have been shoveling coal the whole time. I remember him telling me stories about how when they used to shoot a mine, sometimes they'd let him have a go at shooting the mine. And he said it would stun the fish. They'd build his cod floats around, and they'd go down in a boat and they'd pick up the cod, and that was their dinner. So here we are, we're down inside the engine room. It's amazing to see it. You can see the cylinders working hard to drive this huge steamship. Uh, look at it, it's going around. It's really amazing to be down here. Normally when you get to go on these ships, you never get to come down into, into the engine room. Maybe down there. We're going to go through into the boiler room now. It's very noisy in there, so I don't know how much I'm going to be able to say, but we're going to go through through this very low doorway. And this is the boiler room now. It's really hot in here. You can see the oil fire boilers. I'm not going to get too close. Look at that. Two of them there. Two of them here. experience. I didn't expect that but they said would I like to come down and see in the engine room so it was great that I could show you down there because I didn't think I'd be able to do that so that was that was really nice to see. I think that's the captain. So that, that was fantastic to see there. There's nothing on street around here. So that's her name, Schoenbrunn, built in 1912. She's built in Budapest so she's Hungarian and um, as those of you who watch my videos will know everything Hungarian I you know, really like. Hungary is one of my favourite countries so nice to be on board a Hungarian built steamship and of course the River Danube as I've already mentioned does go down towards Hungary. We're going to walk back down here, I'm going to go to the back of the boat, passing the boilers again, it's where you go if you want to get heat on this ship without the boilers, Let's go to the back of the boat and then I'm going to continue enjoying it. I'm going to have a beer now because I really am quite hot after charging around the ship making this video but it's really a wonderful ship, I really really like it. I'm going to have to have a look at this shop. The selling model trains in the souvenir shop on the ship. This is just like it's just getting better and better from various books you can buy off the ship. So I'm going to have to have a look at that and 
interesting, interesting things to see in there. Let's go upstairs again now. I come to the back of the boat where I can see people enjoying a beer, and I'm going to join them in a moment. So let's just go out on deck. I'm not sure it's going to be too windy, but we'll we'll go out there anyway. Cheers. I'll join you in a minute. We're coming up to another town, so um, I'm just getting windy. I can just see another town coming up. Look, there's some, we're, we're, there's, there's some people rowing. I wonder if I, if I wave to these people rowing, if they're gonna wave back. Let's go. Oh, I wonder if she's gonna whistle. There's a castle coming up. There's another town and there's a castle. So I wonder if she's gonna whistle. This is what she's, people on the rowing boat go by. This is a really lovely stretch of the Danube, which is amazing. I know I really like railways, but at the moment, I really, really like ships and rowers. got a cheer from them. I accept they can't wait because they've got a boat to power because their boat isn't steam powered like this one. Their boat is muscle powered. So really, um, they're doing the hard work and I'm just enjoying, enjoying this trip. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. If you're in Linz, and if you can, do come and have a trip on, on this ship. There's, and Linz is a great city. There's tramways, there's Postlingberg, which is great to do. I haven't done that on this visit. I did nine years ago. So thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. And from on the Danube, on a paddle steamer, goodbye.